don't put any of that in because I don't, any future traffic stops, I don't want this to come up. <laughs> New intro and everything? Yes, sir. Okay, you cut me off the knees with the last outro. I didn't want to go through that. <laughs> I've still got a lot of emotional pain that I've got to process over that. Hello, I'm Larry and this is Carter's Country. Uh, today I'm here with Craig from uh, TSOSH. Yes, sir. I got it right that time. Uh, what, this is my fourth video on them, and I can pronounce it. Hey. That's pretty pretty strong. That's it. That's why they have me here is all this talent. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Today, we're going to uh, look at a gun, that, and it, it's, it, I'm a little bit ashamed to say this, but it's, it's something I haven't shot yet, and that's a 9mm in a 1911 frame. My age group, if somebody told you they had a 1911, you didn't even ask what caliber. You, it was a 45. I didn't even know about 38 Supers back then, but I was watching a video the other day, and Bill Wilson, who knows a thing or two yep. about 1911s, yes, was talking about, you know, 9 versus 45 and all this, and he said something, and I haven't fact-checked this because I'm not social media, but he said in a video that there are more 9mm 1911s made today than there are 45 1911s. And I, I don't know where he got that information. I, it, it really shocked me. But it, I was like, wow, I'm way behind the times on that because I knew there were 9mm 1911s, but I had no idea of the popularity. I mean, I get it. You know, one of the, the great things about the, the, the 9 is the controllable recoil. Yeah. So you put that in, a, in an even heavier frame, and it only makes sense it's going to be even better. Yeah. So um, I'm excited to, to shoot this, just like I'm excited to shoot any gun for free while getting paid. But I do seriously want to check this out and see what it's all about. Yeah, no, if, if Bill Wilson says something, more than likely it's, it's true. I, so I think I, I certainly wouldn't argue with him over No, it. I wouldn't. I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, shooting a 9 mil out of a full-size steel frame 1911, there's not many better things uh, on earth than that. Seems like a really good fit. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. And, and this pistol right here. So this is our. Uh, it says our carry B9, which carry is four and a quarter inch length. We also have carry B9 with a rail, and then we also have our duty length as well. So duty length is our government length, our five inch. Uh, I can do those with and without a rail. Uh, but we're talking about the carry B9 right here. Once like again, it. with all of our pistols, uh, two magazines, you got your carrying case, forged frame, forged slide, Series 70 internals, no mem parts, uh, and then our brand new uh, that we released at the NRA show, uh, lifetime service agreement. So if something ever happens through the life of any TSOSH pistol, we will take care of that for you. So a couple upgrades that our uh, duty and carry Bs have versus our A1 service, our US armies, we've got upgraded Novak sights, uh, skeletonized trigger, commander hammer, and then uh, ambidextrous, safety. ambidextrous safety. I was I had to come up with that word. I was trying to throw something in there to Appreciate make it look like I really knew guns. Yeah, and I, I saw it on this side, you so got I knew safety that. On both sides that of that has got to be amb That's how well I know guns. I didn't even have to look over and see there was one over there. Oh. I just saw the one. I said that bad boy's ambidextrous. Well, it, it, it could be a lefty. You just blew my whole thing, man. I, I was really throwing gonna, out some gun knowledge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trademark them. I'm going to left-handed. Okay. And, and what, what we mean, there's, see, either side. Two. So, dose. See. Yeah. And I, the thing I like about it, it, first of all, 1911s are just cool. Yep. They always will be. Um, the black on black thing, it just looks functional. Like this is something you carry to work every day. It, it's just something built to eat ammo. It's ready to go, you know. Yeah. And I, I like that about it. Nothing fancy, no frills. It, it's just going to do what you want it to do when you need it to do it. And yeah. I, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so once, a uh, couple things that y'all might not see from the camera, we've got our forward serrations and then our rear serrations as well. Uh, and then um, one of the things, so like I said, all of our pistols come with two magazines. Uh, but these pistols, they've done something a little bit different. Uh, ten round magazines. Wow. Instead nice. of your standard nine, that comes with most uh, nine millimeter 1911s. So you get that plus one in there, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, it is, and it, and they they did it without double stacking. So yep. you're, you've still got that the narrow 1911, which is one of the great things about the 1911s. Before anybody knew what concealed carry was, they had a very thin profile ready to go. So that, that's great. And you kept that. So you added around without making, you know, anything here any thicker. And it looks like it's kind of flush fit. It's not like it's going to be an extended, you know. It, you know, so it actually extends out just a little bit. I'll kind of show you guys right there. But it's not too bad. Right. So if, that, if, if, if you're carrying the right holster with the right belt, 
uh, you know, inside the waistband, you should not have an issue with uh, concealing that. Yeah, that, so. that doesn't really look extended at all. In fact, I've got a, a 1911 with three and a half inch barrel, and without it adding an extra round, that's how the magazine fits. So that's, that's not, you know, that's not anything unusual at all. And like you said, it wouldn't affect carrying, concealing, or anything. What if you think if we did like a 33 round, like extendo mag? Um, how, do you, how do you think that would work? Well, let me just say this. I, for, for quite a while, I, I f helped fulfill orders on our carterscountry.com website, seamless plug, and they make things like that, and I've seen people order one, and I had to put one in a pistol just to see how it looks. It's something I wish I'd have never seen. It's, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's an <laughs> abomination, and I, I mean, if you, if you need 30-something rounds and it's the only gun you've got, then by all means, good luck to you. But oh, it it was it was bad. I, I think that's a good lesson uh, to everybody out there. And the lesson is this: just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Man, that's like that's pretty spiritual. As that's, deep. Yeah, I didn't even. I mean, that's free too. Wow, you know, beside all the talent and the gun knowledge here, we're helping people grow as human beings. You're like kind of like the Dalai Lamas of guns. We need, we need to really. take this on the road. We probably do. We probably do. I do want to get another camera person because if y'all could see the faces she's making right now, it's hurtful. But uh, anyway, like um, like I always ask you every time you come down for a video, yes. uh, can we just go shoot this now? Yes, we can. All right. How did it feel though, like recoil wise? No, uh, not even noticeable at all. Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> Shot my first nine millimeter in the 1911 frame and it was as cool as I thought it would be. You know, it, at one point there I was shooting and, and I got through with, with my set and you asked me, what'd you think of the muzzle flip? And I honestly had to think back to what muzzle flip. I mean, it, it, uh, it was just right back on. I mean, it, it, it was like it was in a, a vice or something where it was just staying right there. I mean, from shot to shot, you're just right back on Hey, on, that's on not point. the gun, that's you. Well, you need to take you need to take more credit in your ability. <laughs> Give myself more credit. Yeah. yeah, I hope my wife sees this video. Yeah, but I mean seriously, it, it is it is such it a is. sweet shooting gun with in the 1911 frame and uh, kind of like you know when back when we did the one on the 10 millimeter, yep. it's just a, a such a well designed and balanced match. Um, and of course, the dynamics between a nine mil and a 10 mil, the shooting experience is different. But in both cases, the 1911 frame just really does its job, man. Especially with a nine. I mean, a nine's going to recoil like a nine's going to recoil, but you have the weight of that pistol behind it kind of helping absorb some of that. And you talk about a flat shooter. It's accurate. Um, and I mean, these were the first rounds that that gun has seen. Wow. Um, and no, no feeding issues, no extraction issues. Like I said, it's, um, it's accurate as all get out. And, um, like I said, if you're if you're nine millimeter, you know, fanboy, or even if you're, uh, you know, tiptoeing around that 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 arena, um, you might want to give that one a shot because it is a it is fun to shoot. I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I I I've got some polymer nines, and who doesn't? I guess at this point, but God. but man, it has me rethinking. I mean, this uh, this is a setup I need to have. Yeah, and I mean. It, it, it's kind of weird. Everything goes in circles, and mm -hmm. the you know the, the 1911 style handgun is is starting to make a resurgence. Yeah, uh, and people are starting to realize that that single action. You know, John John Moses Browning knew what he was doing, and that uh, that single action. Um, you know, the, the ergonomics. It's it's starting to come back to yeah. the 1911 style pistol and people are figuring out you know why it's been America's handgun for so long yeah I mean polymer has its place don't, it does don't it me, does don't get me wrong and, and I, I love the ones I have but uh, this will be in my collection soon it's glad to 
Glad to hear that. Glad to feed my addiction. That makes me happy. <laughs> well, it makes one person happy. There's someone who may watch this video and it's not going to make her happy. But, oh, okay. you know, I, uh, I give you I can, permission. Though. I can. OK, well, then there you go. I'm going to say, hey, the rep said it's a business expense. There you go. We well, yeah. have. <laughs> She's in the finance world. I, I would. Uh, Shit. Yeah, I can't. I can't even try on that one. But uh, I've come up with excuses for my poor behavior for all, over 30 years now. I'm sure I can. You can't, one more you, you can't hide the umbrella? Yeah, no. I th here's what I do if I can get this gun in the house yeah. without her knowing. Then it just blends in with all the others. And, I, you know, I've done that with every gun I own that I've bought over probably the past five years. So, uh, yeah. And, and, and this one will be worth whatever trouble I get into for buying it. Absolutely it will. We hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Uh, me digging a hole as I'm talking there also. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that. Please for click for worse. Like yeah. Oh, it's going to be worse. For better for worse. <laughs> it's going to be worse. It always is. Uh, be sure and click like on our video. Subscribe to our channel. We drop new videos every Friday. Hit the comment sections. Let us know what you think, how we can do better, uh, different videos you would like to see. We'll do anything we can to help deliver for you. Remember, if you've ever shopped, shot, or hunted with us, you're already a part of the Carter's Country family. Till next time. Adios. Adios. Married, right? What's mine is yours, and what's yours is yours? <laughs> yeah. And that is no joke. The whole time I was just picturing her watching this, I'm like, hmm. Yeah.